my name is Martin and I'm really happy that I can present this so short tutorial uh, how to use Adobe Lightroom for uh, making the digital try-in for eLab concept. I know that most of us are using Keynote but uh, uh, Adobe Lightroom has some features that can give us the same functions as a keynote so we don't really need to leave even the environment of, uh, of Lightroom. Uh, just to show you how quick this can be when you have uh, the pictures for making the uh, uh, making the uh, try-in I will demonstrate the workflow so you can you can see that this can be really, really uh, a brief process. Uh, basically, we first have to crop the pictures in a certain way that I will explain later on. And then, when you use uh, your template, which I will show you how to make it, it's really, really a quick procedure. And here we are. This is a template that we that we that I had that I did before, and here it is. I have uh, the digital try-in. Okay, so I will go much slower, and I will show you and explain everything how to do it, how to achieve this this uh, nice uh, try-in in the in, in Lightroom. Because I want you to do it on your own, I will delete everything here, so nothing is gonna be saved. Uh, I will go back with the changes I did, and here we are pretty much at the beginning. Okay, so as I said, uh, the first thing we have to do is uh, is the cropping of the pictures. So when you are in the library sheet and you select the picture and press R, it will take you to the develop mode and the crop uh, tool here. With this uh, tool, you can you can change and crop the picture. You can rotate it and so on, but usually we want to keep uh, some particular ratio of cropping. So here we can choose from the list uh, the value of the, of the of the ratio, and the most practical or very practical is 16 to 9 because most of our uh, monitors or uh, presentations are using 16 to 9 ratio. Uh, now we want to set a horizontal line in the picture. So you can somehow guess what is the horizontal line and and try it and, and, and change it just by your eyes and hands. But there is a nice practical feature. If you push and hold option button, if you are the Apple user, or control button when you are using PC, you can you can uh, paint this line. You can drag the line over two points that represent a real horizontal line on the picture. And if you release the button, it will it will uh, arrange and rotate the picture uh, in that symmetry. So this makes everything uh, much quicker. And the trick is that you can repeat the same procedure on every single image that you want to align in the same way. Okay, so that's that's how that's what we did with this single picture. The other picture that represents the crown uh, in the lab on the cast, we have to crop it in a different way. Uh, the, the the first thing we do, we will align the horizontal line in the same way using the same uh, markers on the picture. And now I will change uh, the 
with the frame first I will unlock the ratio so now I can change the frame margins freely and important is that I will crop uh, the frame right to the margins of uh, the two. You can leave some free space above and below the crown, okay? But it's important that on the sides it matches uh, the edges of the crown. Okay, so here we have these two pictures uh, cropped and aligned horizon in horizontally in, in the horizon, and we can now go uh, to the print mode. Uh, very likely you will see there something different than me. You will probably see there something like this maybe or something else or something like this. Doesn't matter. Uh, just follow my, my steps and uh, we will create a template. So the very first thing we will change uh, open this first sheet and uh, in the list of layout styles choose this custom package okay so choose custom package now you will see some frames maybe here if there are some frames just click on it and delete it click on it and delete it so there is a plain canvas no frames the second, we will open these rulers and grid and guides. Here we will set uh, the points for ruler units. We will switch off any grid snapping because I don't find it useful for this reason, for, for this purpose. And we will also hide all, show, uh, all, all guides. Okay, We don't need them at the moment. The next step is the last option here, and that is a print job. Here, it's necessary to, to, to choose the JPEG file, not the printer, but the JPEG file. The next setting is here. You should click the custom file dimensions, because here we will actually adjust the size of our canvas in a very precise way to fit the full HD resolution and that is 1920 by 1080 like this okay so that is a full HD canvas here where we will place our frames for the pictures so let's do it. Here we have our pictures that we already cropped and aligned. And the first thing we will do, just drag and drop the picture that's supposed to be on the background. Doesn't matter that it's small now, doesn't matter. Then take and drag and drop the other one that's going on the top. Now stretch the background picture all over the canvas so you fill actually the canvas with the full picture and the, se the second one the other one you can change its location and fill the gap first fill the gap with uh, the box and secondly stretch it to the top and to the bottom and there it is you can play a little bit with it so you achieve an exact position and there it is you can also add your company logo or elab uh, watermark if you if you upload it to this identity plate which I already did and when you click on it it will come onto your layout and you can change it change the size you can change the location and set the adjustment arrange your 
your uh, frames and watermarks exactly as you like it. And when you are happy what, with it, you can save, save it as a template. So anytime later, you don't have to repeat all these settings. So first what you do, when you open this template browser, you push this plus and then we will create a folder here, clicking new folder and I will name it eLab. And this particular template can be named like uh, 1629 try in. And here you can see that in the folder eLab I have this template saved and anytime I click on it this will appear. And now you have to do only a very simple thing. You just drag one and the other picture. If the gap for uh, the two is wider or narrower than at this template, then you just ch uh, change the, sh the, the width of this frame and adjust the position of the crown. That's it. You can now do your measurements and analyzes, depends what you do, and uh, basically you don't have to save it. But if you really, because this, this picture does not exist at the moment, it's not saved anywhere. So we have two options how to, how to save that. The first option is that we will print it to the file. In other words, we will create JPEG file that will look exactly like this. If I click on it, it asks me uh, how do I name the picture, so it can be named by the patient's name, and save it. You can see there is a printing procedure at the moment running. Uh, the only limit for this procedure is that you must have uh, your original files uh, uh, connected to the computer. That means they must be locally on, the, uh, on your hard drive or you must be connected to your external, external drive. Because the print mode does not work uh, only with uh, smart previews in the Lightroom. So here you can see that this is the file that we exported. But just consider this, this, this picture has more than 8 megabytes, so it takes quite a lot of space on your hard drive. So the question is if you really need it. And there is maybe the answer here create, save, print. That's the other option. Before I show you how to use this, I will explain something here on the library. When you go back to the library, there is a collection uh, sheet on the bottom. And with this, within this collections, you can create your own collection by uh, pressing the plus and then create collection. I already did. So here I have a collection called eLab try-ins. So now when I go to the print mode and here I have my picture, I can just press create saved print and if I choose save it under the eLab try-in collection I can name it again by the patient's name and I save it then as you will see it was just saved into this collection and anytime I want to see uh, this, this try-in just double click on it and Lightroom will will open the 
template and it will add the pictures that are linked to this template for this particular patient so uh, you have it back on the screen uh, the, the advantage of this is that there is no real JPEG on the hard drive at the moment so so all is stored only once in your computer within the database of Lightroom uh, okay so I think that's it I hope that this uh, this tutorial will help you and if you had any questions just uh, just uh, discuss it with with us together uh, on Facebook and thank you for watching